Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now, we are going to get right back into the five steps to real estate success. I know it's been a while, but we're certainly going to continue. In the Appendix B, the Real Estate Glossary, right now we're on letter O. I'm going to do O-M-P for you here on Palm Praise 2. This is take number 10. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the O. And the letters are as such, not letters, but actually words uh, for the letter O. We have obligi. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, y'all, but it's O-B-L-I-G-E-E. -E. It's a person who favor on which an obligation is entered. Obligor. A person who is bound to another by an obligation. Obsolescence. A loss in the value of a property due to functional or external factors. Offer. To propose a payment bid on property, offer an acceptance. Two of the necessary elements for the creation of a contract. Open end mortgage. A loan containing a clause that allows the borrower to borrow additional funds from the lender up to a specified amount without rewriting, without rewriting the mortgage. So it's almost seemed like an amendment with something like that, but it doesn't say that regarding the actual mortgage. Okay. wonder if it's already written in, if you're able to borrow additional funds in the actual contract. But let's continue on. Option. An agreement that gives a prospective buyer the right to purchase a seller's property within a specific period of time for a specific price. Option E, one who receives or holds an option. Option or one who grants an option, the property owner. Ordinance, a municipal regulation. Original principal balance, the total amount of principal owned on the loan before any payments are made, the amount borrowed. Origination fee. The amount charged by a lender to cover the cost of assembling the loan package and originating the loan. I did say service fee for that, but okay. It's the origination fee. Okay, owner financing. A real estate transaction in which the property seller provides all or part of the financing. The letter P, which package mortgage, a mortgage that pledges both real and personal property as collateral to secure repayment of a loan. Parcel, a lot or specific portion of a large tract of real estate. Participation mortgage, a type of mortgage in which the lender receives a certain percentage of the income or resale proceeds from a property as well as interest on the loan. Partnership. An agreement between two parties to conduct business for profit. And a partnership property is owned by a partnership, not the individual partners. So partners cannot sell their interest in the property without the consent of the other partners. Payee. One who receives payment from another. Payer. One who makes payment to another. Percentage lease. A lease in which the rental rate is based on a percentage of the tenant's gross sales. This type of lease is most often used for retail sale. Retail space. Excuse me on that. Periodic estate. Tenancy that automatically renews itself until either the landlord or tenant gives notice to terminate it. Personal property. All items that are not 
permanently attached to real estate, also known as chantels or shadows, C-H-A-T-T-E-L-S. Physical deterioration, deterioration, a loss in the value of property due to impairment of its physical condition. P-I-T-I, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Components of a regular mortgage payment. Plan unit development, P-U-D. A type of zoning that provides for residential and commercial uses within a specific area. Plat, a map of subdivided land showing the boundaries of an individual parcel or lots. Plat number, a number that identifies a parcel of real estate for which a plat has been recorded in the public record. PMI, private mortgage insurance. Point of beginning, the starting point for a survey using the meters and bounds method of description. Point. A point is 1% of the loan. Hmm. A point is 1% of the loan. So how many points? See. A power of attorney, the POA for this. A legal document that authorizes someone to act on the other another's behalf. A power of attorney can grant complete authority or can be limited to certain acts and or certain periods of time. Pre-approval. Conditions where a borrower has completed a loan application and provided debt, income, and saving documentation that an underwriter has reviewed and approved. A pre-approval is usually done at a certain loan amount, making assumptions about what the interest rate will actually be at the time the loan is actually made, as well as estimates for the amount that will be paid for property, taxes, insurance, etc. Prepayment. Amount paid to reduce the outstanding principal balance of a loan before the due date. Prepayment penalty. A fee charged to a borrower by a lender for paying off a debt before the term of the loan expires. Hmm. Okay, um, pre-qualification. A lender's option on the ability of a borrower to qualify for a loan based on furnished information regarding debt, income, and available capital for down payment. Closing costs and prepaid. Pre-qualification is less formal than pre-approval. Prescription, a method of acquiring an easement to property by prolonged unauthorized use. Primary mortgage market, the financial market in which loans are originated, funded, and serviced. Prime rate. The short-term interest rate that banks charge to their preferred customers. Changes in prime rate are used in the indexes in some adjustable rate mortgages, such as home equity lines of credit. Principal. One. One who authorizes another to act on his or her behalf. Two. One of the contracting parties to a transaction. Three. The amount of money borrowed in a loan, separate from the interest charged on it. So principal had three different definitions for that word. Uh, principal uh, meridian, one of the 36 longitudinal lines used in rectangular survey system method of land description. Probate, the judicial procedure, approving the validity of a will.
promissory note uh, details the terms of the loan and is the debt instrument. Property management. The operating of an income property for another. Property tax. A tax levied by the government on property, real or personal. Prorate. To divide ongoing property costs such as taxes or maintenance fees proportionately between the buyer and the seller at closing. A pure atre vai. P-U-R-A-U-T-R-E-V-I-E. A phrase meaning for the life of another. In a life estate, pure atre vai. The term of the estate is measured by the life of a person other than the person who holds the life estate. Purchase agreement. A written contract signed by the buyer and seller stating the terms and condition under which a property will be sold. Purchase money mortgage. A mortgage given by a buyer to a seller to secure repayment of any loan used to pay part or all of the purchase price. Hmm. That does complete the letter O and the letter P of the real estate glossary. So it be it thy will, stay tuned for the letter Q and R here on Palm Praise 2. But until then, I certainly want for you to be well, uh, take care, be blessed. Until next time. Later, y'all.